Hi right, guys, let's talk about the Mojave, Mojave. I think based on what Apple called their stuff, I think it's Mojave. So it's a desert. So uh, yeah, I think it's the Mojave Desert they've named after. This is the Armour Mojave 6S. What we know so far um, is basically it leaked out. They, I think they accidentally put it on their website just as they were messing about with their website last night. And it, it just, I, I actually found it by accident. Um, I found a, just the sort of product landing page for it. So um, it was obviously, there was obviously something going on. And um, with Armour in the past, when, they, when something kind of leaks, they just jump on it straight away and say, right, fine, we're just gonna release something quick. And by the time I got up today, um, they'd released a, a full on, well, trailer for it, I guess is what you call it. So I'm just gonna run through it now and see, see, see what we can pick out. Um, just, well, basically just sort of put, pull it to pieces and see what we can see. Because I've run through it in sort of slow slow motion and I can see things in there that you don't quite pick up on the first time you're around. So obviously this is going up against the UDR, which is its main competition really. And my personal views on it is, is it's nothing like a UDR. Not to look at and I don't think they've designed it like a UDR either. So well, let's just go through this trailer. Um, I, won't, I can't play the music because it's because of copyright, but um, we're gonna run through this trailer and I'll pause it um, at, at the various points and I've got it running on my screen as well and we'll go into more detail there. So they're obviously showing this as a, as a full-on basher truck, which is not what the UDR's for. Doesn't surprise me being armor that it's a basher truck, but it, it, they're showing it really getting, getting some stick and smashing about all over the place. So, if you watch that there, it looks, now I'm just gonna go back, I'm gonna pause that. If you watch that there, and I'll bring it up on my screen as well. There was a shot there of it going past. You get just a, just a glimpse of the way this thing's built. So it's from the front end, you're basically looking at what looks to be a standard armor front end. I mean, it really does. It's got the, so it's got standard shock layout on it. The arms are obviously different. So you can see that from this shot, and I'll just run through it now. You can see it's, it, it looks to be there, just standard armor chassis. And if you keep stopping and starting it, you can just have a quick look inside. And I think that's just a standard armor chassis, but I think there's some more parts later on where we can see that. So I don't think it's got anything super clever going on with a scale suspension. That's what I'm trying to get at. So we'll carry on where we left off. As you can see, they're showing that across there. I can see parts of armor, normal armor trucks and all these. Now there is a metal chassis. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom into that now. So we'll pause that. The people are wondering about the chassis. Well, armors, armors are all metal chassis, but if you just pause it on this part here, you could be looking at any 6S armor chassis. And I, it, it doesn't look to me as if it's a specialist chassis. I think it's just gonna be a longer wheelbase chassis but it's definitely just a standard armor uh, aluminium chassis. So you can see that here, it just pops its head up on this part. That's one of the major things to find out because obviously a UDR is based around a cage and all sorts of other stuff and it's very scale, but I don't think this is ever gonna be a scale truck. I think they've built this for people to smash about with like all of their other stuff. So yeah, I mean, they're showing it doing some pretty big jumps there and you can, again, just there, if you, I'll, I'll zoom in on, on my on my uh, screen, and you can see that it's just a standard armor chassis, and I think it really is just a, a big armor chassis. Um, and it's, I don't think it's the limitless one either, or the uh, infraction, because it doesn't appear to have all the aerodynamics on it, which I can't see the reason why it would have either, which is another thing people have been uh, speculating about. So yeah, it, the, these shots here, this is prime UDR territory, this is, if you look at the shots. They're showing it doing pretty much what a UDR does. But again, just there, just there, you can see the standard armor, armor shocks. Um, there's, not, there's nothing gonna be different about this that's gonna blow your mind, I don't think, in terms of design. It's just standard armor shocks. And I've, I've seen a part where you can see the rear shocks as well, so they're not anything special.
Now, if you watch that there, that could be pretty much any armor truck. You can see the suspension front and back. It could be pretty much any armor truck from their range, just slightly bigger. So, um, I think, I think really, I don't understand. I don't really think why people would design anything other than to just basically take something that they've got, blow it up a little bit. <clears throat> I, I really do think this is basically just a big Senton. Um, I don't think it's anything else. The UDR is something completely different. It's a scale truck. Um, what we can't see there is whether it's got a live axle or not. Um, and I, I, I don't really know how we're going to find that out until we find that out. But um, a lot of people will say that's the UDR's biggest failing because it, 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 it's, it's difficult to drive. And a lot of people say it's just the best thing going on it. But yeah, I just thought I'd run through this video. Um, and just see if we could pick out a few things. I mean, I don't know what people think about the uh, the way it looks. Um, I'm not a huge fan, if I'm honest with you, the way it looks. It's it's okay. I, it's a bit. If you if I'm honest with you, I think it looks a bit toyish. Um, arm, armors can tend to look a bit toy, especially when you're looking up against other things in that price bracket. It's okay. I think it's okay. I quite like some of the details with the bars across the front front windscreen. And whatnot, but yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe it's the colours. I'm not sure really because uh, they've really, you know, they've gone for very bright colours. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of some of Armour's body sometimes, and I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's have a chat about it in the comments. See what people think. We've only got this to go on at the moment, so uh, my guess is is that they got forced into releasing this because it leaked and they had this pretty much ready to go and they just wanted to sort of stop everybody from speculating too much on whether it was being released or not. So um, yeah, let us know what you think in the comments. I just wanted to run through it quickly because uh, obviously it's exciting when I'm going to bring out a new truck um, and it's always good to tear to pieces what it is they're up to. Okay guys, jump in the comments, let's have a chat about it.